Hi and welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain about how to create a bolt and a nut in Creo and also apply the mechanism to it. Okay, let's get into the video. For more additional videos related to the concepts in mechanical engineering and design, please subscribe my channel. First, I'm going to create a new file by selecting new and make sure that your unit is in millimeter newton second and select the front plane and then click on sketch here i'm going to draw a rectangle let me enter this value as 500 and this horizontal dimension as 50 and then give check mark to it and here i'm going to use the revolve command to revolve this feature select the sketch and here in the axis i'm going to select this y axis here and then give a check mark to it and now my revolve feature is created successfully and here i'm going to select this face and draw a sketch on it i'm going to use the palette command to import the polygon i'm going to import the six hided hexagon just i'm going to move this pointer to the center point and then close this one and give a check mark to it i want this distance to be 100 and then give a check mark to it and now my sketch gets completed and i'm going to extrude this one to a value of 75 and i'm going to apply the round feature to it let me enter a radius of 7.5 just select this circular edge here and then give a check mark to it and now i'm going to select this plane and go to sketch view and here I'm going to draw a arc. my first point my second point and my arc is created and go to the dimension command I want this dimension to be 30 and again select the dimension and I want this vertical dimension to be 15 and here I'm going to use the line command to join the two entities. And now my sketch gets completed and I'm going to exit from the sketch and then use the revolve command. Here I'm going to select this same Y axis here. And this time I'm going to remove the material. So I'm going to select the remove material option from the ribbon. And now my revolve cut feature is generated successfully. And again I'm going to select this plane and here i'm going to draw a line and before that let me make a reference and now i'm going to use the line command and i'm going to draw a line draw a line like this and i want this dimension to be 100 and again select the dimension command i want this dimension to be 500 and then give check mark to it and now select the helical sweep command and here in the profile i'm going to select this sketch and in the axis i'm going to select the y axis and here i'm going to do the sketcher and here i'm going to draw a circle whose diameter is going to be 20 and then give check mark to it and my pitch value is going to be 40 and I'm going to remove the material and then give check mark to it and now my bolt feature is created I'm going to save this one select file and save us I'm going to save this in a desktop by creating a new folder named bolt net mechanism and then click on ok I'm going to save the file name as bolt pot and then click on OK and let me close this one and I'm going to create the nut pot I'm going to select new and set the unit as usual and here I'm going to select the front plane once again and go to sketch view and here I'm going to use the palette command and I'm going to import the six-sided hexagon once again and again I'm going to snap this to the center point and close this one 
and then give check mark to it. I want this dimension to be 100 and here I'm going to draw a circle whose diameter is going to be 100. And then give check mark to it and here I'm going to select the extrude command and I'm going to extrude it to a value of 75. Let me extrude, let me make this as a symmetric extrude and then give check mark to it. And now I'm going to select this plane and go to sketch view and I'm going to make a reference here. Select a reference. I want this two as a reference and let me close this one and I'm going to draw a line. My first point and my second point. I want this point to this edge. The dimension would be 100. And again, select the dimension and this point and this vertical edge. I want this dimension as 100 as usual and then give check mark to it. And again, I'm going to select the helical sweep. This time, I'm going to select my helix sweep profile as this gauge and in the helix axis I'm going to select this y axis and go to sketcher and here I'm going to draw a circle again with the same diameter of 20 and then give check mark to it and here I'm going to remove the material so select the remove the material option and then I'm going to enter the pitch value as 40 and then give check mark to it and now my nut feature is created and I'm going to create a point select this edge and my point is created I'm going to save this one select file savers I'm going to save this in the bolts nut mechanism folder with the name nut path and then click on ok and let me close this one and now I'm going to create the assembly for it. select new assembly make sure that your unit is in millimeter Newton second assembly design I'm going to select the assemble command and here I'm going to select the bolt part I'm going to set this as a default constraint and then give a check mark to it and now I'm going to assemble the nut. Select the assemble and here I'm going to make this as a cylindrical constraint. And I'm going to select this axis and then this axis of the nut. And now my connection definition gets completed. And then I'm going to turn on the point display and I'm going to select the placement tab and here I'm going to select the new set and here I'm going to select the slot connection and here I'm going to select the curves by holding the control key select the all the helical curves here let me speed up this process And as soon as you selected all the curves, select the point on the nut. And now my slot connection is created successfully and I'm going to give a check mark to it. Let me give. And now I'm going to apply the colors to it. I want this to be red color and this to be yellow color. And now I'm going to animate this one. Go to the applications and select mechanism. And here I'm going to apply the servo motor connection. Select the servo motor and here I'm going to select this slot axis here. And in the profile details I'm going to select the velocity and here I'm going to enter a value of 20 and then give a check mark to it. And to animate this one I'm going to select the mechanism analysis and I'm going to kinematic analysis and then just select the run command. And now my bolted length mechanism is created successfully using this slot connection here. This method is very easy if I have some 
small number of helix curves. If I have large number of helical curves, then it would be very difficult to select all those such curves using this control key. So for that, let me explain the other ways of animating this one using the servo motor connection. Created the bolt and assemble using the default constraint now. So now let me assemble the nut. I'm going to click on the assemble and select the nut command. And here I'm going to select the cylindrical option and select this axis and with this axis. And then if I go to the placement tab, I'm going to select the translation option. And in the translation option, I'm going to select this surface with this surface. And in the current position option, I'm going to set this as zero and then give check mark to it. And now I'm going to animate this one, go to the applications tab and before that, let me change some colors to it. I want this to be yellow color and then, and now I'm going to select the application step and go to the mechanism and here I'm going to apply the servo motor connection. Here I'm going to apply two servo motor connection, one translation and one rotation. So now I'm going to apply the translation motion. You may see that in the motion type I have the translation option. And if I go to the profile details, I'm going to enter the velocity for it. Let me enter a velocity of 0.2 and then give a check mark to it. And now I'm going to apply the second servo motor that is the rotational motor. Just select this axis here and if I go to the reference tab, you see that the motion type is created as rotational. Here I'm going to enter the velocity. Let me enter a value of 20 and make sure that angular velocity is checked in and then give check mark to it. Let me enter some higher value of 100 and then give check mark. And let me edit this motor. Just click on the edit definition and here I'm going to change this to velocity and then give check mark to it. And that's it. I have successfully applied the servo motor connection. Now I will go to the mechanism analysis and select kinematic analysis and then select the run command. And now my bolt and net mechanism is created successfully using this Creo software. For more additional videos related to the mechanical engineering and design concepts, please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.